Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday, man. It's here. Excited to share God's word with you today. It comes, it came to me this morning in uh, almost like a song. It's a song that I knew as a kid that I used to hear all the time. And it was in my spirit all day. And I'm like, God, that's what you want to speak to your people today. So I'm excited to share with you. It's found in the book of Psalms, Psalms 103, verse 11. Psalms 103, verse 11. It says, as high as the heavens are from the earth, so is the love of God towards those that fear him. For as high as the heavens are from the earth, so is the love of God towards those that fear him. Do you understand today that you are passionately loved by the Most High God? That God loves you so much that he could not love you more tomorrow than he does right now. Today, God loves you with all of his heart. Today, God's heart is towards you. Today, God is with you and for you. Today, not tomorrow, not six months. It's not when you do the right things or say the right things. Today, God is for you and he loves you. And the Bible says, so as high as the heavens are from the earth, we can't measure that. We can't throw up a ruler. We can't get measurements for that kind of thing. It is something we cannot count how high the heavens are from the earth. So is God's love towards you. Those who fear him, his children, those that belong to him, those that have a relationship. That's how deeply God loves us. He loves us that much. And God, for God, love is not just a noun. Love is a verb. It literally means that he is in love with us. He is passionate about his love for us. And he is actively using that love for our benefit. That's what he does. His love is towards us. And that love, if you read this in another translation, the word love is not used. The word mercy is used. And that word becomes interchangeable. Like, well, they don't mean the same thing. But see, the output of love is mercy. If I love someone, I'm going to have mercy on them. I'm going to give them favor. I'm going to give them grace. See, love is an all-encompassing word. And Jesus does not possess love. He is love. So Jesus in his character is love. And his love, the outshoot of that, is to have mercy on you. Is to have grace on you. Is to, to walk with you and just grace your life and walk with you and give you mercy. And give you the tools you need to succeed because you fear him. So the scripture says, as high as the heavens are from the earth, so is the love of God towards those that fear him. And I want to come against every lie of the enemy today that tells you that you're not loved, that God is disappointed in you, that God is angry at you, that you've actually done something to lose God's love. You cannot lose God's love. You are his child. You cannot, God does not one day decide, I've had enough of them. I've had enough of her. I've had enough of him. I'm done with them. And I want, I just want them away from me. God doesn't do that. The Bible says that he is married to the backslider. He is chained to you, even if you're far from him. Even if you don't feel, like, even if you feel like you've messed up so many times, that God doesn't want anything to do with you. That's a lie. Because his love is as high as the heavens are from the earth. That's how big his love is. And the fruit of his love is mercy. The fruit of his love is grace. And so it doesn't matter how far you've gone. It doesn't matter how many times you've messed up. It does, all those things don't matter. All that matters is that you turn back to God and fear him again. Is that you turn back to God and walk with him again. See, the word repentance is two parts. Repentance, we often think it means I'm sorry. No, it's not enough. I'm sorry is I'm sorry. Repentance means I turn from the thing that's taking me away from God and I return to God. So I turn and I return. It's a two-part step. I turn away from what is keeping me from God and I turn back to God. And his love propels us. Let me tell you something, child of God. If you are feeling distant from God because of something that you've done and you think God doesn't want to hear from you, he's fed up, that is a pure lie from the enemy. We call that condemnation. And the scripture is clear. God hasn't given you condemnation. He's given you conviction and conviction draws you to God. It makes you know, I got I to get this right this time. And you turn back to God. So I want to encourage you today. God's love towards you is as high as the heavens are from the earth. He has mercy on you. He has grace on you. You can mess up and you will find a gracious, loving father to run back to. He might correct. He might discipline. That's all part of love. The Bible says that the parent that loves their child disciplines their child. How many here were loved by their parents so much? I know I was. And so that's a, a fruit of love is discipline. He might discipline. But discipline and correction do not minus away love. They're a fruit of love as well. 
But you need to understand deep in your spirit that if you don't feel like God loves you, or you feel like you've disappointed him, or you feel like God is far from you, those are all lies from the pit of hell. He is as close to you as the mention of his name. He is as close to you as you just reaching for him. His love is right there to embrace you, to welcome you, to care for you. He is for you and he is with you. So know that, child of God, as high as the heavens are from the earth, so the love of God is towards those that fear him. And so, Father, I pray, God, for everyone within the sound of my voice today, God, I extend my hands over them, God, and I pray that you would encourage their heart today, that you would give them peace and joy, God, that they would know that they are loved, Lord God, so deep love. It doesn't matter, God, who they feel rejected from, Lord God. They are never rejected from you, Lord God. You love them, Lord God. It doesn't matter, Lord God, what they've done. All that matters is that they turn to you, God, and repent, and you are there to meet them and to wash away every sin, Lord God. I thank you that your love propels you to act with mercy and grace towards your children, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God, that you are with us and that you are for us. I declare peace of every person within the side of my voice today, God. I pray that you would touch them and bless them, and that this week you would show your love to them in a tangible way. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week, everybody.